Okay, good morning. Good morning, guys. I'm Charlie Tuck and this is Noah. Okay, so this morning we are going to Trinity Episcopal Church. Yeah. <laughs> and no. for some holy communion. Right, for some communion. And I'm gonna drink some my first time communion. And I'm not even baptized. <laughs> Donald Tucks. Oh, Donald Duxon. I was gonna say, you're baptized and you've taken communion. You missed Mario? Um, okay, so yeah, we had this idea recently that we want, there's a lot of cool historical churches in Galveston, Texas, which is where we live. And we thought it might be cool to go check out a, ha a, a handful of these churches and kind of, I don't know, bring you guys along for the ride and see what, a, you know, see what it looks like. We can talk about it a little bit. Maybe yeah. some historical background. Yeah, and you know, what it's like so that you know what to expect and yeah, and kind of see. So I have I have some questions I want answered. I want to see, um, obviously the building, like I want to know the history of the building, um, which is pretty easy because you can do that online on their websites. And then I want to <clears throat> see what the worship, like what to expect of the worship and what that's like and then also like sacramentally what are they doing that's kind of like not really done in the um, non-denominational churches or you know kind of like in those common churches that we go to just to kind of see the traditions of the sacraments and what those look like you know what's fun? and then yeah, also um, you have to blow it up again. I also want us I want to see if on any given Sunday is the gospel preached you know like am i gonna go there and am i gonna know about jesus that's like what i want to kind of see yeah so today is our you know the first church that we're visiting and yeah we're gonna try trinity episcopal church there's a like i said there's a handful of other churches we're gonna go check out so um make sure to like and subscribe and stay, like and stay tuned like and subscribe and stay tuned um, to see the other churches, which we're, we're really excited about pretty much all of them. So, yeah. but I, we kind of chose, I chose Trinity for today because it's an Anglican church. It's Trinity Episcopal. And um, of the sacramental churches, of the historical churches, uh, the Anglicans tend to be a little more loose with um, just participants participating and um, so for instance with communion a lot of other traditions are gonna you have to be become a member of the church in order to partake of communion and with the Anglicans it's sort of like hey if you're baptized in the name of the Father Son and Holy Spirit then come on in and receive communion so we're gonna start out with that and then we'll kind of move into some of the some of the more um, Super steeper orthodox. and more orthodox traditions, yeah, so.
everything they do shall prosper. It is not so with the wicked. They are like chaff which the wind blows away. Therefore the wicked shall not stand up by the judgment of God. Nor the sinner in counsel of the righteous. For the Lord loves the way of the righteous. But the way of the wicked is in. Paul is taking all he knows about Jesus and applying it to his situation. Jesus brought together God and humans, though they have been separated by sin. And now Paul is bringing together two humans who had been separated by sin, which is slavery. So Paul says, if you consider me your partner, welcome him as you would welcome me. If Onesimus has wronged you in any way or owes you anything, charge that to my account. St. Paul is standing in for Onesimus the slave, willing to take on any punishment that Onesimus deserves. And you know what the punishment was for a runaway slave, right? It was crucifixion. St. Paul is offering to stand in for Onesimus on the cross, just as Jesus stands in for us on the cross. All of that in one little letter. A quick message that St. Paul sends while in prison. And yet through it we see the entirety of the gospel. St. Paul is reaching out one hand to Onesimus the slave, and another hand to Philemon the slaveholder, and bringing them together. This is the cross. This is the good news of Jesus Christ. That the two who had been separated are now united. At the organ? Yes. Do you love and it? I want to go in it. You can't go in the organ. But Daddy, you get a low sound and then I go like wow through, through the organ, Daddy. Touch. Wow. Don't know. No, oh, that's really neat. Yeah, feel free to take as many pictures as you like. No problem. Thank you so much. You're wow. Welcome. Don't touch me. <laughs> All right. Thoughts? What are your thoughts? Yeah, I loved it. You loved so, it? Yeah, the real organ is really cool. Yeah. The, yeah, the way that it sounds in there is beautiful. So, yeah. yeah. But I mean, it's, it's interesting that we're there because oh. there was just a tragedy that happened with the Trinity School kids. Yeah. So, um, it's kind of, you know, it's funny that we are here. So just mourning with our brothers. Yeah. So what did you think about, um, I totally heard the gospel. Yeah, And I actually sure. got it on video, so yeah, no, it, you guys will have heard it, but yeah, he no, preached really. the gospel very well and accurately, and yeah. they did pretty much everything we're looking for. I mean, we were all able to take communion. Um, even the kids came up and received communion. Um, they did both kinds of communion. So I don't know what the Catholic Church does nowadays, but I know historically the Catholic Church didn't allow you to have the, the blood. Mm -hmm. um, but we were all able to have both kinds of the sacrament. And yeah, the worship was awesome. Yeah. And the acoustics cool. in there are awesome. So his preaching was really good. Like it was, you could hear him even though it was a big, 
it's a big space oh, yeah. and there's no microphones. You could hear him very clearly. I just met the pastor, very nice guy. So yeah, I loved it. Yeah. Yeah. And the kids, the kids actually really liked it. Moshe was obsessed with the organ. <laughs> I took him up to go check it out after. Oh, really? um, so, and then we looked at the Bible too, the yeah. hand, the handmade Bible. So that, yeah, that Bible we looked at was a hand drawn. Did you get it on calligraphy? Camera? I did get it on camera. A hand calligraphied Bible. It took the person 15 years to draw it all out. The pastor said. And what else? Um, the or yeah, the organ was cool. Um, the kids just loved it in general, and they loved kids' church. Um, they said they went into kids' chapel and they sang. Um, he's got the whole world in his hands, and they learned. Yeah, he's he said they learned some stuff. So yeah, super happy with it. With that, that was a great church. Yeah, great, great experience. Great. This guy didn't like it so much though. Aw, Juba. He just cried in the nursery. We'll have to just take him time. with us. Yeah, he'll be fine. He likes to be with me.